Alrighty, got another Funko Pop video review for you guys. And as you can see, we're going to take a look at the new Walgreens exclusive pops. Now, you may be looking at these and noticing that there's only three here when there's four exclusives. I have been searching for these things for a good couple weeks now. I've got like six Walgreens in my area that I can hit pretty easily and pretty regularly. And I could not find these pops until this morning and even then I only found the three that you see I am missing one of them there's four total I'm missing spider-man 2099 so I still have to hunt him down so once I find him I will do a video on him but until then as I bump my camera here are three of the four we've got black suit spider-man Punisher and Venom and they look super super cool I'm super excited to have them so let's take a look at them real quick in their packaging we'll start with black suit Spidey looking very nice he's in your standard Funko Pop box he does have a sticker here that says exclusive it's kind of a plain sticker would have been cooler if it said something about Walgreens on it I think honestly but whatever nice artwork here on the side of Spidey He's number 79, Spider-Man up here. Very nice. There's the side of your box. Here's the back showing all four of the, the exclusives. There's Spider-Man 2099, which I still have to hunt down. There's your side. Top of your box. And the standard box. Very cool. Punisher, looking very nice as well. He looks great in the box, if you ask me honestly. Number 80. Got your artwork here on the side. There's the side of your box. Back is the same as Black Suit Spidey. There's that nice pop artwork here on the side. And the top. Very, very cool. Now Venom, I think, looks the coolest of these three anyways. Now, my Venom box is a little banged up. But it's the only Venom they had, and it's the first time I've seen him in my couple weeks hunting for these. So I wasn't in, I am not an in the box collector, as you all know by now. I take my pops out and display them out of the box. So I wasn't going to not pick him up because of that after how difficult it's been to find these. So very nice artwork here on the side. Love the way that looks. He's number 82. Here's the side, there's the back again. Looking awesome here with that pop artwork on the side. Very, very cool looking. And then the top. So, real quick, pull these guys out of their packaging. And let's take a closer look at these new Marvel Pops from Funko. Okay. Spider-Man. Now these are Marvel Pops, so they are bobbleheads. As you can see, Spider-Man's head bobbling all over the place. <clears throat> Punisher. And last but not least, let's get Venom out of there. Boom. All right. They look great. Now, we're going to get to Venom in a second. He looks... Interesting. Spider-Man, let's start with him. Looking very cool. The black and white are very nicely done. Very clean paint apps. I mean, there's not much, I mean, two colors. But the spider logo looks nice. The eyes are clean. And the back, again, the back looks very clean. No paint issues on the Spider-Man. And there's only two colors, but I think he looks really, really sharp. Love the way he looks. Very cool. I mean, not a whole lot of detail or anything like that. It's just straight up black and white. And all the detailing you can see in the white, honestly. There's no other molding details that are lost in the paint because there's not any. Very cool. I, I dig him. Punisher, not really a character I'm super, I mean, I know of him, I know his origin and stuff, but I'm not super familiar with him, but he looks cool. Love the, the skull, the belt looks good, his guns look nice, uh, would be nice if they were a little more silverish, honestly, so they set apart from his hands a little bit more, 
but they look good. The detailing in them is nice. Again, the paint job looks very good. The eyes are nice. The hair looks good. Then you look to the back. The belt's looking good on the back. The boots are nice. No complaints on the paint job for Punisher. Very, very good looking pop. Now, Venom, this is interesting, his head is all crooked. I'm sure that's coming across super well. But he's not straight. It's, it's as you can see, they're straight. It's not centered either. If I tilt it straight, it's off to the side. And there, it's crooked. So that's interesting. Looking up here at the springs. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to fix that. I'm just not off the top of my head right now sure what it is. But I'll look into it. Now, aside from that, I mean, he looks really cool. The head looks awesome with the tongue and the teeth. The eyes. Very, very well done. The paint job looks good. There's a little bit of paint issues on his lips. Some of that color they use for the teeth is showing through. But not a huge deal. Suit looks nice. And he's got some muscles molded into him. I'm not sure how well those are coming across on the camera. But he's not a real, he's not smooth like Spider-Man. He's got some muscle definition molded into him. Which is cool. Again, the back looks good, but look, look at that head. That's just crazy. Man, bobbleheads, man. I told you guys I wasn't a big fan of them before I started getting into them, and I'm still not crazy about the bobbleheads, and this is just, that's one reason why. If it wasn't a bobblehead, he'd be right there like he's supposed to be. But, well, it is what it is, I guess. I'm sure there's a way to fix it. If you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that, Leave me a comment and let me know, because I'm not super sure how. I'm, I'm not big on the bobbleheads, but it would be very nice if his head was straight like it's supposed to be. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that. So, that's three of the four Walgreens exclusives. They look really cool. Venom's head aside, you know, not taken into account. I'm sure that's probably just an error on mine. I'm sure that's not on all of them. I would hope. <clears throat> but they're very clean, very, very cool looking. They're going to look awesome with the rest of my pops. So, I mean, if you are a Marvel fan and you have some Walgreens in your area, I highly suggest you check out some Walgreens and see if you can find these pops because they are very cool. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Please, subscribe to my channel. All kinds of cool things coming up. See you guys soon.